Apple launched the 12.9 inch iPad Pro in April 2021, and this is the first iPad Pro with a mini LED backlight. Display Supply Chain Consultants, or DSCC, forecasts that mini LED backlight panel shipments will rise from 8.7 million units in 2021 to 55.8 million units in 2026. The 45% Kager growth rate should come as no surprise as mini LEDs offer many advantages for LCD displays, most notably higher brightness, better contrast ratio for high dynamic range, and energy efficiency. Adding a color enhancement film, such as the yellow film you see here, boosts the color performance of LCD displays. Color enhancement films allow digital content to be shown in a wider range of colors. The display industry measures range of colors based on color gamut standards. And the three main ones today are Adobe RGB, DCI-P3, and Rec 2020. The area within the triangle represents the range of colors each standard covers. For instance, if a display has 90% DCI-P3 coverage, this means it is able to produce 90% of the colors in the DCI-P3 standard. In this video, we'll be measuring and comparing the color performance of different color enhancement films, starting with the original color enhancement film that comes in the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. When a yellow film, which comprises of red and green materials, is placed in front of the blue backlight, the colors red, green, blue, and white are produced on screen. This is the white spectrum produced by the iPad Pro with Apple's color enhancement film. Apple has claimed that the iPad Pro can reach 1000 nits of full screen peak brightness with portions of the screen hitting an eye-searing 1,600 nits when playing HDR content. From the luminance value of 1,553 nits, we know Apple was not kidding. This high level of brightness is not even attainable by OLED displays, as it leads to the risk of screen burn-ins. In reality, peak brightness levels are seen at this level in bright sun, lights, and fire. This is the spectrum of the red material in Apple's color enhancement film, known as KSF Phosphor. You may notice that the KSF red spectrum is slightly lifted due to the leak from green. This negatively impacts the purity of the red primary. This is the spectrum of the green material in Apple's color enhancement film a phosphor with full width at half maximum of 45 nanometers after the color filter. The current 12.9 inch iPad Pro covers 89% Adobe RGB, 99% DCI-P3, and 75% Rec 2020 color. We will now replace Apple's color enhancement film with Nanolumi's Chameleon color enhancement film to measure the shift in color performance and brightness. This is the white spectrum produced by the iPad Pro with Nanolumi's Chameleon Color Enhancement Film. You'll notice that the green peak is narrower than that produced by Apple's Color Enhancement Film. This means purer greens can be shown on the display. At a luminance value of approximately 1,400 nits, the brightness achieved is beyond the standard 350 to 600 nits of tablets and comparable to the peak brightness level of Apple's Color Enhancement Film. This is the spectrum of the red material in Nanolumi's color enhancement film. It's the same KSF phosphor spectrum we saw previously in Apple's original film, but pure when coupled with Nanolumi's narrow green perovskite spectrum as it does not leak into the red primary. This is the spectrum of the green material in Nanolumi's chameleon color enhancement film, known as green perovskite which is the narrowest green emitter in the industry with a full width at half maximum of around 20 nanometers. With red KSF phosphor kept constant in both Apple's and Nanolumi's film, this information allows us to observe how a narrower green emitter widens color gamut coverage. By simply switching out Apple's film, which has a 45 nanometer green full width at half maximum, with Nanolumi's chameleon film, which has around 20 nanometer green full width at half maximum, we enhance the color performance of the iPad Pro 
allowing it to cover close to 100% Adobe RGB, 100% DCI-P3, and future-proof it with 83% Rec 2020. In our tests using other color filters, we have also achieved more than 90% Rec 2020. Given the photopic nature of the human eye, greens in the RGB primaries have a major impact on how our eyes perceive colors on a display. Thus, the green emitter technology plays a critical role in how the viewer rates the overall color performance of the display. Perovskite is the narrowest green emitter in the world, enabling the purest, brightest, widest range of colors in displays.